H. We're going to use the formula F equals P into 1 plus I to the power of T. Is that okay? Now, we're going to invest 4,500 euro and it amounts to 5,607.82. And it's going to be 1 plus I, which is going to be, we don't know what 1 plus I is, do we? So we're just going to call it X. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get five, uh, and we know what T is. What's T? Five years. Okay. And what we're going to do is the following. Before I go any further, I just want to tell you that there's two options on how to do this. Okay. So do you know why I have X squared equals 25? And we all agreed earlier that I can do X equals the square root of 25. Another option would have been to do 25 to the power of a half. They actually mean the same thing, don't they? So if I, uh, if I said for argument's sake that uh, x to the power of 5 was 32, you have two options. Here, the first option is I could have done the fifth root of 32. Do you understand? Does anybody know the second option? 32 to the power of a fifth. They both give you an answer of 2, no matter which one you do. What I'm basically trying to say is that this one and this one are actually the same thing. So what we're going to do is our 5,607.82. We're going to divide that by 4,500. And we have x to the power of 5. It's your choice whether you do the fifth root or you do the whole thing to the power of the fifth. That is your choice. I'm going to do it to the power of fifth. Reason being is later on in the x this, this chapter, you're going to have to start being more familiar with powers. So I suggest we stick to the power method, okay? But once again, that is your choice to make. Now, here's what we're going to do. Put this in. It's not going to be a crazy rate, is it? It's going to be somewhere between 0 and 10%, right? 1.04, was it? Yeah, so 4.5%. Good job. So just put that into the calculator like so. And to the power of fifth. 1.045, yeah. And we know that that is 4.5%. <clears throat> when it comes to credit card companies, they don't charge you a yearly APR. They charge you monthly APR. Do you get what I'm saying? So every month, you're, you're, so if you borrow 100 quid from a credit card, so at the end, so that'd be, that'd be start of the year. At the end of one month, that's going to go up. It's going to be above 100. Right? So for argument's sake, let's call it 152 cents. Then at the end of month two, it'll be like 101 euro and 13 cents, let's say. See the way my, my, because I'm not paying back my credit card, after each month, it's getting bigger. Does that make sense to you? Now, what's happening here is at the end of 12 months, because it wants it to have an equivalent rate of 6%, at the end of 12 months, you're going to have to add on 6%. Now, what's 100 euro add on 6%? Just multiply by 1.06. See the way we got 106 euro? We're trying to figure out what monthly AER gives the same amount. Does that make sense? So look at this. We're going to use our formula. F equals... Uh, what's it? Uh, P, 1 plus I to the power of T. Now, T in this case will actually be 12. Why is T 12 this time? 12 months in it. And we're talking about monthly interest, right? Our F value will be 106. Our P value will be 100. And then this here will be, call it X to the power of 12. 106 divided by... 100 is x to the power of 12, yeah? And then just 12 root it, or to the power of 12. Everybody see what we're going to do? We're going to do 106 over 100 to the power of 12, all right? And what we get here is, uh, press the fraction button, brackets, fraction 106 divided by 100 to the power of? Twelfth, say one over twelve. One point zero zero four eight seven, Colin. 
and that's important. Four, eight, seven. Do you see that? Do you know what that is? That would be ten percent. That would be one percent. It's actually point four eight seven of a percent. Do you see that? Now let's let's examine what happens. All right. When I get my hundred euro, remember we said we have a hundred euro, and we multiply it by one point zero zero four eight seven. Either way, we're only increasing it by point. We're not even increasing it by one percent each month. We're increasing it by point four eight seven percent each month. Look what happens after the end of one month. That's how much money we owe. At the end of the next month, here's how much money we owe. That's two months. Three months, four months, five months, six months, seven months, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See the way we're on 106 euro on the money, which is exactly the same as six percent. Now there is a shortcut. Uh, one sec, this one sec. Same question. Now, what you would have noticed that at this stage, do you remember I made up the number 100 and I made up the number, uh, then I added six percent to get 106. Now, do you see this part here? 106 over 100. You see that? That's what is 106 divided by 100? It's actually 1.06. So at the very beginning, if you wanted a shortcut way of doing this, all you have to do is say x to the power of 12 is 1.06. And then there's 12 roots, 1.06. And you get you obviously get the same answer, don't you? So that'd be the that'd be the second way of doing it. So I'll give you an example. Okay, what's it? 12 root of 1.06. We get the same answer we did before. So technically for this question here, see you see the extra 4%? What would be the fast way of doing that? X12 equals 1.04. What value do you have to multiply monthly to get the same thing as a yearly of an extra 4%? So then I'll just 12 root that, don't I? You can 12 root it, or what's the other option? Power 12, yeah? And we get a, we just get it as this. See that number there, 1.0032? What percentage would that be? That's tenths, that's units, so 0 0.327 of a percent. Okay, that's it.